welcome to Wolf White TV. Thank you for stopping by my channel to watch my videos. If you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss any of my wonderful videos. But if you have been coming to my channel and you have never subscribed, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button so that you can be part of the Wolf White TV family. All you have to do is just sign into your Gmail account or sign in whilst you're on YouTube and then click the subscribe button. All right, I have a wonderful news that I want to share before I go to my main topic today. And that is my one year anniversary of starting this channel. All right, uh, you guys have been so supportive. You have been so encouraging and interactive throughout this journey up to this point. And I wanna show my wonderful appreciation for all the support, the encouragement, subscribing, sharing my videos, talking about it with your friends, Thank you so much. But I'm going to have a giveaway to mark my one year anniversary. So that will be next month, August. And I will let you all know the date, the exact dates in August. And random uh, subscribers and super fans, uh, subscribers and super fans will be getting uh, some you know, a nice gift, all right? So, hey, I'm not gonna review what it is. Uh, when you receive it, then you will know what it is. But uh, if you don't wanna miss out on this giveaway, then uh, guys, keep interacting, keep sharing my videos, keep your subscription, share my videos with your family and friends, and let me know that you are part of the Wolfway TV family. Thank you so much, all right? So today, the topic that I'm going to talk about will be uh, for DV 2022, all right? I know we are not done with the DV 2021, but there have been some new updates, information that I want to share with you guys, all right? Many of you have, you know, uh, contacted me and expressing your worry about what is going on with 2021, uh, thinking that would the same thing happen to you guys and some of you are so frustrated. And yeah, I feel your frustration too because there are some of the embassies that are not open yet and there are some of you that have to go to different embassies because your home country embassies are not open. So yeah, it's a whole mess. But y'all know that all this mess started from, you know, uh, 2020 and the ripple effect has been, you know, carrying along to this point. All right. But yeah, so your worry and concern about the DV 2022 is legitimate. But guys, I have some good news for you. Okay. And these are things and my predictions of what could happen for DV 2022. So uh, one thing, uh, the first thing that I want to talk about is that the uh, 2020 and 2021 COVID-19, we had COVID-19, all right? The ripple effect of COVID-19, some of the embassies had limited staff because some staff just, you know, returned to the United States. Um, and with a lot of countries closing their borders that you cannot leave the country, there are people who were issued visas and those visas expired. And so they had to go back to the embassy. So imagine the work that had been done had to be redone again. So instead of them scheduling other people uh, going through interviews, now they have to redo the work that they had done before. So it was like doubling their workload with limited staff, okay? The other thing that also happened was that there was uh, uh, the fund, the funding for Homeland Security was cut. All right, was cut by the previous administration. So all of those things coupled with, of course, COVID-19 made 2020 and 2021 uh, process a whole mess, okay? But you don't have to worry about it unless we are hoping for another disaster or another global pandemic, then uh, you don't have to worry too much about 2022. Of course, the uh, the ripple effect of 2021, some of the embassies are still uh, clearing backlogs. So of course, all the backlogs will not disappear. But since many of the embassies have opened, that means that they should be operational uh, for, you know, majority of the, uh, the period for 2022. Some of the embassies just opened in May. And so they had less than from May to September, 
that wasn't uh, uh, enough time for them to you know interview everybody that was selected but with them working now if they continue at this pace then that means that there's a likelihood that folks for 2022 you have a long period of processing time okay unlike those of the 2021 okay so that should be something that will encourage you the other thing is that many of you have may have read it or may have seen it on twitter was uh the house appropriation bill that was passed in the house uh with 33 to 24 votes so this passed the house now it may have to go to senate okay so one of the part or the main part that i uh that applies to devilory was uh an amendment uh that was requested by representative grace men representative grace men represent the sixth congressional district in new york okay and her uh um amendment recommendation was for homeland security to allow all the unused uh diversity visa all the unused diversity visa for 2020 and 2021 fiscal year to be passed on to uh the fiscal year of 2022 and and beyond until they all used up and this was even mentioned in one of the live video by uh the state department on youtube uh, a couple of months ago they said that they did not reach their fiscal year ceiling so the ceiling for the number of uh, visas that they're supposed to issue they did not reach that number so what this representative uh requested as an amendment to this bill was that uh the visas that were not issued so fifty-five thousand visas were supposed to be issued you know every year for dv lottery so whatever was remaining from 2020, whatever was remaining, uh, will be remaining from 2021 should be passed on to 2022 and beyond until it's used up. So if there were, let's say 30,000 remaining from 2020, uh, for 2020 and 2021, then they will add, you know, a bit to 2022 and then a bit you know until it's used up they're just gonna uh you know maybe cut it into chunks for so this has passed the house so hopefully hopefully fingers crossed that it will pass uh it's very likely that it's going to pass because this was an amendment that is tacked on onto uh, uh funding for uh critical infrastructure for you know uh, uh homeland security so it's important bill that will get secure money to uh you know protect us from cyber attacks and all that and this is where this am amendment was stuck in so it's very likely that this thing will pass in the senate and when it passes, then that will be great, great news for DV 2022, okay? The next thing that uh, was also mentioned in this amendment was that, and that was uh, for several representatives that made this uh, amendment, and this was adopted, okay? And that was also Representative May, Representative um, Espia, Representative Polkan, uh, and Representative Torres. They also requested that um, the DV lottery visas be issued to people who would have obtained the visas had it not been uh, uh, President Trump's Muslim ban. So that means that all the people who went through the screening, people from the uh, Muslim countries who were banned during uh, President Trump's administration, that those people who went through a uh, screening and they would have received their visa had it not been the ban because there are some people who had gone through all the process that it was remaining uh the next point was just interview there are some of them who even were interviewed but then because of the uh the uh muslim travel ban they were not issued visa so that was also adopted um so hopefully all of this will pass in uh, the Senate because from the House, it goes to the Senate. And if the Senate passes, then of course, uh, it, we, it's very likely that President uh, Biden will sign it, okay? 
so i understand that you guys are worried and frustrated but hey there's light at the end of the tunnel so don't be in despair um things that i i recommend for you guys to do is that pay attention follow what is going on with 2021 if you're dv 2022 follow what is going on with 2021 okay because uh there are people who took advantage of transferring their cases and they were able to get their uh interviews scheduled and many people who wish they had transferred their cases so if you're dv 2022 please pay attention be, be proactive so that when time comes for you to act you can act but guys it's not time yet for you to panic okay so this is all that i wanted to share with you guys thank you so much for sticking around and watching my videos please follow me on facebook or for tv most of the videos that i make here i share them over there so you can watch them there or you can watch them here please subscribe 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 uh join my greek lottery groups on facebook greek lottery africa greek lottery ghana greek lottery winners and moving to america slash for tv i also have greek lottery winners on whatsapp for that group, I need to verify that you were selected before you can join that group. But thank you so much for your wonderful support, your kindness up to this point. And I hope that we will enjoy this journey all the way to America. All right. Thank you so much. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye-bye.